Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Uh, let me go ahead and say that my name is Savannah and I am a crafter, like a hardcore crafter. Um, this channel is mainly knitting and cross stitch, but I do throw in other crafts from here or there. Um, I am also the owner of So Livy Dyes Yarn. I hand dye um, small batches of yarn. As you can see right here is all the yarn that I have. Um, dyed up, ready to ship, I guess you could say. I do dye to order um, as well. And um, yeah, so So Livy Dyes Yarn dot com. Um, I will have all my links, social media links down below in the description so you can find me. I also link everything that I talk about to the best of my ability. Um, sometimes I forget because I'll film this now, which it's, I don't have my watch on, so I don't know what time it is. It's probably like eight o'clock and it is uh, Tuesday, April 27th, just so we know that what it is today. Um, <laughs> I film this now. Um, but I don't know when it will. It usually is up later in the afternoon, but let me preface this. I just started watching Shadow and Bone yesterday, so that might take precedence over editing and uploading this video. Um, same with last week. If you notice, my video was posted a day late. I did film it at like eight o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, on last Tuesday, but I was watching Bridgerton. Um, I was very late to the game, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Um, and I decided to binge watch it. And I was so into it that I just didn't want to edit my video until I was done with the series. Which was later that evening, that Tuesday evening. And then it just didn't get uploaded until um, the next day, I think. So yeah, <laughs> so just so you know, I'm probably going to forget a few things that I talk about. So if there's something I talk about, it's not linked below, please just comment and I will go ahead and let you know what it is. Um, yeah, uh, my hair is being funky today. I don't understand. Um, Any whom. So today's just all knitting that I have to show. Um. I did cross stitch a little bit more on my knitting girl, but um, <clears throat> not enough to show like, well, yes, I finished her body and started in on her legs and boots, but <laughs> I'll wait till next week when I have even more progress done on her. Um, okay, so my big whip, we'll go ahead and, well, I do have a finish. I like to start with my finishes. I do have a finish. My April socks are finished and these are just, but they're done. They're for the Rainbow Socks Chronicles Knit Along by Sweet So, So Sweet Violet and Lay Family. Oh my gosh. It's like, Lay, it's not Lay Family Farms. I've been saying that. It's Lay Family something. I am so sorry. And I, you know what? I always forget to link it too. So I'll try real hard to link it this time. Um, there is a year long knit along. It's for socks. Um, the preface is that you're going to do a certain color each month. January was pink. February was dark pink or red. March was orange or peach. April was yellow. Next month is green, which I'll show you what my ideas are and <clears throat> so on and so forth for the rest of the year socks can't be shorties they have to be you know taller than shorties um they have to be fingering weight or dk weight i believe and i believe to you know using a, a sock uh machine cranking a tube i think is allowed but i can't remember i wish I could have a sock cranking machine thing. I would love to have one of those. Those things are very expensive though, so that won't happen. Anyways, finished, pro uh, finished project for this week is my April socks for this knit along. And this is, there's my socks. <laughs> so these are the Alvar 
um, socks by Fiona Alice. This is in, the pattern is in the 52 Weeks of Socks book, but I bought the pattern separately on Ravelry, and that is because, um, well, I missed out on the hard cover, but cover, the hard cover of the book, um, because I wasn't knitting socks when that came out. I didn't think I'd ever knit socks when that came out. Uh, but I pre-ordered the paperback. <clears throat> Um, and that won't be out until August. So, um, I really wanted to make these socks. I love the picture that, um, was with these socks. So luckily I was able to get the pattern separately on Ravelry. Um, this pattern is, I don't want to say it sucks, but I just did not, <clears throat> I didn't enjoy it sadly when I really wanted to, too. Um, so the issue is, is the socks, the small size is way too big for me. I didn't understand, um, because I had never done intarsia, um, before I didn't know how to convert these socks to be my size. So I just knit them. Well, I knit them as pattern instructed to here. Um, but I did drop the needle size down. Um, it was called for a US 1 or a 2.25 millimeter. I went down to a US 0, which is a 2 millimeter. <clears throat> and it's still too big. Um, it's loose, especially up in the leg. Um, these stripes are in Tarja. It's knit from the toe up. Um, the part that I changed up here is this... Um, these intarsia lines were actually supposed to continue around the leg. I didn't realize that because you can't really see it in the photo. <clears throat> and then at that time I was like, heck no, I don't want to do this anymore. You had, I had, a, you have, each one has its own little line of yarn um, to do intarsia. So I didn't want any more lines of yarn dangling from this sock. I just stretched it out that way. So I said, no, I'm not going to do it to the back of the foot, uh, or the leg, I should say. And I did obviously shorten it. I, it was supposed to be this tall. I was like, I just don't want to. So tiny little um, one by one ribbing cuff. This is a heel flap and gusset. And yeah, still too big. So for the second sock, this, since this one took, it felt like it took forever. The second sock, I decided I was just going to knit plain vanilla sock I mean follow this pattern but without putting the lines in and then I was going to duplicate stitch the the lines on well that did not work out so well I I mean yeah it looks like it um this is wider and I think it's because I didn't have the intarsia but look at how thick those lines are Pulling any tighter would reveal the stitches underneath, which you can kind of see on this one up here, because I was trying to keep it pretty snug. So yeah, just duplicate stitch them all up. Um, and again, I really don't care. I will put the nice one on top. Barely, sh and maybe I'll like photograph it like this. <laughs> Um, they're too big for me. I mean, yeah, sure, I'll wear them probably because I knit them, but they're definitely not ones that I'm going to go up, grab for all the time. So that's, that's a little bummer because they're beautiful. It's just, yeah. So April socks are done. Woo! All right, next whip, my big whip, is my Wanderer Pullover by Tiff Nealon of Tiff Hand Knits. Um, I'm testing this sweater for her and I'm almost done guys. Almost done. I don't know where I was last time I showed you. But I have the body's all done. I got one sleeve finished. And I have the sleeve almost done. I have, let's see. I have several inches left to go. So roughly, it's black on black, so that's difficult. I have roughly this much more to go. Oops, where's the sleeve? 
see a herringbone texture on the cuffs, the neckband, and the hem. Um, there is an option to change this hem to a twisted rib, but I just did the herringbone. I like herringbone stitch. It's not difficult at all. So my yarn. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this yarn. Real quick, this is my hand-dyed yarn. This is Sun Shower, and then the blue is an unnamed. Um, Sun Shower is no longer available in my shop. Um, maybe one day I'll bring it back. But, um, the yarn for this is uh, Knit Pick Special Reserves uh, Alpaca. No, Arcadia. Arcadia. Sorry, DK Weight is called Condor Black. Um, it is no longer available unless they do bring it back. Um, but I don't know if it's back. <laughs> and then the green is a hand dyed by a friend specifically for me. This is a worsted weight yarn. And beautiful greens. <clears throat> As you can see, I, I love it. So yeah, almost done. I'm hoping to have it done within the week. <gasps> Is that a big hole? Okay, something. I got a hole. Where is the end of this, this yarn? Okay, there's still a hole. <laughs> there's still a hole. I'm gonna have to weave. Do some weaving. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, almost done. I'm hoping it blocks real nice because it looks quite tiny. That's for sure. I should say I get really bored of knitting straight stocking it, and I think maybe sometimes I stop it too soon. Oh well. Um, next whip. Um, I decided to work on my uh, ranunculus a little bit this past week, um, just just for fun. So I got not too much done. <laughs> Doesn't this look like fun? I got the little crossbar bit of the yoke done, and I just got into like the pearl and slip section. If you've knit a ranunculus, I think you understand what I'm talking about. Um, that's as far as I got. Uh, it's really difficult to see anything on this because it's very colorful. Plus it's mohair. <laughs> so yeah, one strand mohair. I'm knitting this on a US 10 or a six millimeter needle. I'm using my, uh, these are my Licka needles my short tips since I needed a small circumference um yeah once this sweater is done once this one is done this one's gonna be my main well I take it back my second main focus still I guess um, I'll show you my main focus but this and then I have the oh, do you see this white yarn right here and these rainbow colors those are gonna be my next sweater after this one or at least I'll get through the yoke probably, and then I'll start this one. These are summer sweaters. I do have another yarn over here that I want to do, I think, a summer sweater. So I need to get with it. Um, yeah, so mohair. This mohair is... There, let me grab the full ball out of there. This one is Knit Picks Aloft lace weight and it is in the sole hand painted so this is 72 percent super kid mohair and 28 percent silk um i bought this color only for the name soul lived there for five years have to have anything that is korea named which another one of my projects is korea named <laughs> so yeah i mean it's a beautiful color actually Especially after knitting it up, I'm like, wow, look at that. So you can't tell how like bright yellow that is until you knit it. Like, how crazy is that? It's beautiful. So, yep. Yeah. It should only take those two skeins to make this, because these are 50 grams. These are 50. 
Oh, no, these are 25 grams. 260 yards, though. I think when I did the math that 50 grams would be enough. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, next whip. This one's going to be my focus because I'm almost done. I'm almost done, guys. All right. Uh, if you've been here a while, if you remember, I was working on the Radbent Cardigan by Amba O'Brien. Let me pull this through so I don't lose it. Um, I was working. It's worked um, from cuff and then cuff to middle. So I had the right side finished. This is the right side. I had the right side finished and I was working on the left side and I ran into some issues on the left side. Come to find out I was counting the chart wrong. Um, I was trying to use a calculator to help me skip counting and it was, <clears throat> it wasn't getting all of them. And for some reason it was one number short. So I was about five rows short on the right side and the left side. So I went ahead and plus I also had some other issues that was from previous. I went ahead and I finally got to the end and I added a uh, I added four rows to the left side and four rows to the right side in the darkest color. And yesterday I graphed them together. So let me try to pick this up. So here is, that's hard to show. Here is the sweater connected. You know, like it's actually looking like a little cardigan. I still have more work to do. So here is the middle panel with cat hair. Middle panel. Um, and it's grafted up. So yeah, these these purple colors, All every purple one has one row too short, unfortunately. But I made it up in the middle by adding a total of eight extra, I guess, for that color. Which is hard to see. So this yarn is... Monsoon Calamity in her Nova colorway. This kind of yarn is 100% cotton, four-stranded, um, and she makes the cakes gradient. So this is the center of the cake all the way to the out, um, the outside of the cake. Um, I had to deconstruct the cake to be able to make this um, cardigan, but that's not a big deal. It's pretty easy to deconstruct one of her cakes. The yarn for the cuff um, is a hand dyed by myself. I did this just for this um, cardigan, but maybe I will um, dye some more for the shop. It's just a real charcoal-y color. Um, it's not a solid black. Um, and yeah, so I grafted it together. That was the longest Kitchener stitch I've ever done. Um, I don't mind Kitchener stitch though. Uh, I've actually gotten pretty good at it. It doesn't look so great. I'm hoping um, a, a little wash will kind of even out everything. And then I started adding, just barely started adding the gray yarn for the bottom band. I have a ways to go. I have a ways to go. Don't mind the holes in the armpits. I need to weave those closed. Those are Turkish uh, cast-ons to add length to the body. So I'm not the best. I mean, Turkish cast-ons easy. It's just trying to do it from an already established like knitting. Is it? It was a little, little difficult. So yeah. Um, I have not tried it on yet or anything. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it before I probably do that. We'll see. So yes, this is going to be my focus focus once this guy is finished. Which, again, hopefully this week, then I can get this done. Um, another whip that I am working on is just another pair of socks for fun. Um, I dyed this yarn. <coughs> so this yarn was a sock blank. A stroll sock uh, blank. I want to try it out. I use lollipops to dye this. Um, I have it all on my Instagram a while back. Um, you just took lollipops, like the circle kind, the swirl lollipops, and you put it on the wet blank, and it works. It makes beautiful yarn. I finished one sock. I don't know if I had this finished last video. But here's one sock. 
Um, this is the uh, All the Frills by Summerlee Designs. It is part of her shorty sock collection. And I just knit it to pattern. So it was my first time doing a real heel flap and gusset um, fully. And everything turned out really well. And I like it. And it fits really nice. And so, yeah. <clears throat> this cute little sock. So I started the second one. And so, yeah, I, I'm almost done with the cuff, maybe. I'll have to um, measure. No, not not yet. A couple more rounds. A couple more rounds and it will be finished. I take this in the carpool line when picking up the kids. I take this to work with me um, when I do Grubhub, just in case I need something. And yeah. This is what the yarn looks like. It's super fun. And this is soft. Like, I haven't actually used Stroll. In a long time and it's actually really soft and fluffy which is nice so yeah those are just for fun socks because i noticed when i would get my my um knit along socks finished then i didn't have anything to take with me to work or um to pick up the kids and i'm like i need a pair of socks like always i think always all right last project why is there a straw wrapper <laughs> Last project is a new start, and this is part of my haul, so I'll show you real quick. My bag. So this bag is by Modular Modular. Um, she's on Instagram. I don't know how I came across her. Maybe a knitting Facebook group. I can't remember. She did a pre-order back in January for state project bags. She's able to do, oh gosh, I think every state you can get one. Um... And I finally got mine last week. She got a ton of pre-orders. So she was a little behind. Um, anyways, this is a nice big bag. I didn't expect it to be so big. Which, I mean, I'm not mad at. I love it. It's perfect. So, um, Colorado bag. So I match you, Jen. <laughs> um, yeah. I have a new start in here. This is Hung Day by Ashley Wimp, I believe. AshleyWimp.com. Hung Day. Um, this is a mosaic uh, shawl. I've never done mosaic before, so I was a little confused considering the charts in here are a lot like color work. So <laughs> my brain automatically wants to try to do color work, but I'm like, no, it's just slip stitches. It's just slip stitches. So Hongdae is a little, uh, it's a district in Seoul, South Korea. It is a... I believe it's a university district. I can't remember for sure. All I know is that when I lived in Seoul, Korea, that was the hot spot to go for clubbing. They had a whole bunch of clubs and bars and um, all sorts of stuff. And it was far enough from the base that people could get away with a lot of things. Um, so um, I don't know if this is a picture of Hongdae itself, but I know this is Korea. That's not the best picture. Um, I love Korea, especially at night. All the lights. You should see it at Christmas time. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Um, so I used to party in Hongdae. Just for, oh my gosh, just for a little while. I didn't, after a while it just, you know, it got, it got old. The same clubs. The Koreans kind of caught on to the fact that the military was coming there and they didn't really want us to. I mean, because I'm not saying me specifically and not everybody, but, you know, there's always some Americans, especially young American soldiers, who just get really rowdy, um, especially when they're drunk. So, and here's another picture. <clears throat> this is... What I spent my early 20s doing walking down streets that look like this. 
Oh, I miss it so much. Absolutely gorgeous. The printed picture does not do it justice. The picture on when you look at it on the computer is just fantastic. So yeah, Hung Day. As soon as I saw that this was named after Hung Day, I knew I needed it. Um, I just didn't know what yarn I was going to use until recently. Um, so I do a color of the month club um, in my shop and I have it based off of Lore Olympus, which is a Webtoons comic by Rachel Smith. And it's all about Persephone. Um, I've heard other people, you know, say it's the story of Persephone's um, <sighs> tragedy, I guess. I don't know if it's really what happened. Um, but honestly, to me, it's just Persephone and Hades' love story. And it's really, really good. The artwork is amazing. The story is amazing. I love it. Um, so I decided I wanted to do to dye yarn based on the characters of this series. Um, and so the first month, January, I had to do it off of Persephone. So this is her color. She's absolutely gorgeous. I should have worn my shirt today, but I didn't. It's supposed to be chilly today. Beautiful, deep, saturated pink with reds and blacks. Um, yeah. And then February was Hades. And Hades um, blue and black. Gorgeous color. So together, they are perfect. <laughs> I love these. They're so... They're so good, so good. So I have two of the Persephone's for this shawl and then I only need one Hades, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I do not have a big start. Um, let me get some of these strands out of the way. I don't have a big start, I just, I needed to get it started. And it was a weird start, the construction's a little strange, um, but I got through it and yeah, so needles need to go up. And that is where I'm at. I put the dinosaur on there to mark the front. Because um, I didn't realize, I couldn't tell in the picture. Not only is it mosaic, but it's all garter. I thought the mosaic pieces, the um, design part was actually stuck in it. No, it's all in garter. So I needed a way to, I mean, granted, yes, the back is different, but... For now, I need I need to know which way is the front. I wish this would focus better. It won't, huh? So yeah, <laughs> super different. This is something I have not done before. So the 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 cast on is quite different. You actually cast on like where is it? Right here is your cast on. And you have to work all the way around it like this, obviously, to get it into this shape. It's so weird. It keeps trying to... I need to keep my needles up. Or I could just do it this way, which then it'll be upside down. But I can spread it out. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so beautiful. So, I have a shirt that I bought from Hot Topic. It is black and it has Persephone and Hades on it. Um... And it's beautiful. This is going to match it, like, perfectly. I mean, Persephone is a little bit lighter pink in the on the shirt because I based it off of her, like, her, her dark queen, like, picture. And she's super dark pink, and she's got bright red eyes and a black crown. So that's what this is based off of. In the shirt that I have, she's more, uh, like I said, light pink, um, more whimsy. Um, in love, Persephone. So, yeah, that is pretty exciting. And that was my cast on. I just had to. I mean, I haven't worked on it since. I just wanted to get it started so I could be like, yo, I started it. Okay. One other little haul, not too fancy. Just yesterday I ran to Joann's. I wanted to see if they had any baskets for plants. Um... 
and I happened to, you know, couldn't not look at the yarn. Just wanted to check it out. And I saw this one. Uh, I forget. I know I don't pronounce this correctly. I always like to say patents, but I think it's patents. Croy socks. Um, this is a, where is it? It's 75-25, so it's a 75% washable wool and 25% nylon. I've made socks out of this yarn before. Um, not this color, but out of this type of yarn before. And then they're not bad. Um, I grabbed this one. Um, it's called Turquoise Jacquard. And I figured that um, I was really struggling with um, June's colorway for the socks knit along, the Rainbow Socks Chronicles knit along. Um, June is turquoise, and while I have, I have some blues, I don't know if they would constitute as turquoise, or, or if it'd be teal, like, teal and turquoise are, I know they're different, but they're also very similar, so I didn't want to accidentally, like, knit a pair of socks that are actually more teal to the people who count, like, the people who are doing the prizes, kind of thing. Um, I didn't want them to think the yarn I used for turquoise is more teal. So this one says turquoise right in the name. So yeah, I figured I could use this one. Um, so yeah, that's it for haul, I believe. Yeah, everything else I've ordered has not arrived yet. Yeah, so... No point in talking about that. All right, let's go ahead and talk about my plans for May's socks. So this one is green, which green is my favorite color, which is crazy because I have not really knit with green yet. Not a big amount, just this little bit in the sweater. So I have a bunch of green yarn and I was like, okay, well, let's look through my greens and see. So I um, actually, I went through my patterns first. Went through all the patterns that I have just to see. I wasn't too thrilled with everything that I had. Um, I mean, I do like some of them, but a lot of them were like toe up. And I was just like, can we just not do toe up for this month? <laughs> Maybe I'll do it for another month. And so I went on Ravelry and I was looking through my cart. Because instead of like, I mean, I do favorite a lot of things. But typically I'll throw them in my cart instead so I can look at them easier. So I had a pattern in there by Twinset and Pearl, and it's called the, I believe it's just called Bridgerton Socks. So I'll throw in a picture. Um, and super easy looking. The description, oh, the description said it was pretty easy for beginners. There's just that little bit of lace on the leg and then the rest of it's just straight stockinette um so i thought hey let's go ahead and do this one this one's really pretty so i went through my green yarn next and now if you've followed me on instagram you would have seen my stories where i showed all this but i'm going to talk about it here so let's get this um i can just show you at a glance these are my greens <laughs> Um, I have this one by Spectacular Yarns, but I'm not going to use this one because she gave me those two other ones that kind of go really well with them. So I want to keep this just in case I need, I find like a three color shawl or something that requires those, you know, like three colors. I can put that with those other two. So this one's not part of it. Then I have this one that I dyed um, a long time ago and it's actually a full skein. It's just, it got super tangled so I had to cut it apart a friend untangled half of it for me or at least part of it for me so but this while it looks very nice and green here it actually is quite more brown than it is green compared to the other colors I have so I think I'm going to skip out on this color next is this wow this is showing up really bright on the screen um, this yarn that I dyed a while ago, I actually over dyed something like I dyed this some color and I didn't love it. So I over dyed it and I got this color, which is gorgeous. Oops. Oops. So sorry. Um, but I don't think, 
I want to use this color. Next is this gorgeous color. Like, whoa. Like, these are there. This makes this more <laughs> of what it kind of is. <gasps> Look at this beautiful color. This was from a friend. This one's actually called Kelborn Woolens. I think I just called it perennial <laughs> last time. So this, this is beautiful. It's got, it's 60% superwash merino, 25% surrey alpaca, 15% nylon. But I want to save this for something else. I think this paired with like a black into a shawl would be fantastic. Or even just a black sweater with like a color work yoke would be amazing. So I'm going to save this for something else. Then I had round table yarns. This I won in a giveaway by um, Threads Untwined. Um, this one's called A Maying. This one has cashmere in it. Um, it's just a, a nice Christmas green color. Um, I did get a red skein to go with this as well. So while this is pretty and it is tonal, I just was like, mm, I don't know. Next is one that I dyed. This one is the prototype for Magic Tree that I have in my shop. Do I have any left? Yes, I think I have one skein left. So this one, this isn't exactly what the yarn looks like um, when you purchase it from me, but this was just a quick prototype that I tried. It is um, a heavily speckled greens and yellows and blues. But the pattern um, with the lace bit at the top, this might be too busy for it. Um, so this one's going to not happen. And then I had this one from Andromeda Sock Yarn. I bought this one a long time ago and I still have not used it. It's called Baby Yogurt. <laughs> and see, it's beautiful. It's brown, and, I mean, sorry, green and cream with um, a rainbow of speckles. There's yellow and I see a little bit of red and there's what looks like it's probably brown, but it kind of broke into a purple color. Some browns, blacks maybe. Oh, it's pretty, but again, it's more speckled. So I might lose the lace detail in this. So sadly, this one had to go in the out pile. That leaves two more. These two I still have not made a complete decision on yet. Um, I think I do know what I'm going to go with, but I don't want to make the decision just yet. Um, so the first one is, um, this one was dyed by my friend Meredith from when we did our wool swap. She dyed this one up for me. Um, it's a 75-25% merino nylon. Um, and it looks like this. It is a variegated, I guess, right? Yes. Greens with yellows, a bits of red, and browns. It's very pretty and very soft. So there's this one. And then the other one is by Spectacular Yarns. This is Jen's. This one's called Mystery Lake. And um, to me, it looks green. Green and blue and yellow, like a, a, a mustardy yellow brown mustard yellow um i think the camera might make it look more blue maybe not when i was talking to jen about it yesterday i was taking a video and uh it looked more blue in the video so yeah there's that one and this one i really do think i'm gonna go with this one but like i said i don't want to make a complete decision yet I'll wait till I guess the end of the week but I really do think um, I'm leaning towards this one for the socks and since they aren't heavily um, they aren't heavily speckled or variegated oh look at that that's so pretty um, that it should show up the lace pattern pretty well and still be interesting to look at on the rest of the foot Oops. So yeah, out of all those greens, I was able to narrow it down to these two. 
so yeah um what else what else oh um advents are still available in my shop um thank you uh to everybody who has already purchased an advent from me that makes me feel so good um i can't wait to actually start working on those um hopefully within the next um month or so that i can actually start getting those worked up um what else what else that's about it guys really that is um so yeah i'll see you next week bye